Hey guys, this is Kent from The Games Den. Today we are playing World Superbike Championship 2022 or SBK 22. And I wanted to show you the achievement list I'm playing on Xbox Series X. Been lucky enough to get given this game early by the publisher, Milestone. So thank you for that, guys. I wanted to show you the achievement list today because I know people are interested in that, as I am myself. Let's check it out. It's going to be the same on PlayStation for the trophies. I'm pretty sure the Steam achievements are the same. Let's check it out. Okay, Triumph at Phillip Island. And that can be done in Championship or oh, in Round Championship or Career. So nice, easy one. Again, Triumph at Magni Core, Triumph at Villicum, Triumph at Mazzano, Triumph at Donington, Triumph at Most. Triumph for Portimao, Triumph for Mandalika. Okay, so there's a few of them ones. A ride in the park, conquer the pole position and win a race. So get pole and win anywhere. Everybody knows you reach a reputation level higher than 300,000 as a rider in career mode. I haven't started my career mode yet, but that'll be the next thing I do after this video. Change for the better, change your personnel manager, sheet engineer, data analysis at least once. Fair enough. Complete a multiplayer race wearing your custom helmet. So you've got to design a helmet, then wear it in a race online. Probably get that one done soon because you don't want to try that one in three years' time. Beat the time threshold with both bikes during the mid-season tests. Okay. Perfect race, complete five consecutive valid laps in time trial mode. Now, sometimes on these, these particular achievements, you can actually do a restart flying lap and it will keep the, keep the run going. So try that if you mess up. Ensure your team accepts your counter offer during a negotiation. This is quite similar to MotoGP 22's list. Earn 1 million credits in career mode. On top of the world, reach a reputation level higher than 500,000. So that's two reputation achievements so far. Research and development. Complete the bike development in career mode. Okay, that can that can, that'll be a tricky one. That could take a little while. Complete 25 valid laps in time trial mode. <sighs> Doesn't say consecutive though. Reach qualification objective. 15 times in career mode. Reach race objective 15 times in career mode. Complete 10 multiplayer races. Okay, you don't have to win them, just complete them. Win the championship as a rider in career mode. Complete 15 multiplayer races. Here we go. So that's another multiplayer one, a 90G. Complete five. Okay, so it's yeah, we've got five, ten, and fifteen. Earn five hundred thousand credits, earn two hundred thousand credits, conquer the pole position. Okay, so that the other one was pole and win. This one's just pole. Serve the long lap penalty. Execute a manual start without being given a warning. Easy enough. Complete all development tests during a weekend as a rider. Hmm. Doesn't say to what level you have to complete them all. Maybe you have to successfully complete them all. That could be tricky. We'll keep an eye on that one. Here we go. Until the end, complete 10 races with wear and consumption active in round championship or career mode. This actually reminds me of not this year's MotoGP list. I think it's, this is last year's one or the year before. Uh, here we go. Win in Assen. Win in Estoril. Reach reputation level higher than 185,000 in Korea. Win in Aragon. Win in Catalonia. Complete at least one valid lap with each development pack. Yeah. Standard stuff, not bad. So no win online, which is good because what can happen is if you buy the game in the future, 
like even like six months time, the only people that are left on are the hardcore still racing and it could be brutal trying to win. So at least it's, yeah, just complete 15 races online. I think that is a fairly straightforward list. I think completing the development will be tricky for the bike. That, that will take a while, but who knows how long it will take to get the credits. Um, if you pre-ordered, you get a, like a multiplier. Uh, you get that as a bonus, but I didn't get that because I've been sent my code early. So I'm actually going to have to buy that. So that's normally cost like $3.99, but I will buy that to speed up that process. But I'm going to smash it. I will get a 1,000 on this game, 100%. I'm telling you, I just got the 4,000 on MotoGP 22. Also got it on MotoGP 21, MotoGP 20, MotoGP, yeah, a lot of them. No, I think I skipped 19. I played that on PlayStation. I digress. Stick with me. Subscribe to the channel. There's going to be loads of SBK22 here. Hope to see you soon. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. See you soon, guys.